I'm Todd Heitkamp, the owner of Dakota Angler here at Sioux Falls, South Dakota, with this week's two-minute fishing report. Well, folks, the weather definitely has taken a toll on the fishing this past week, and quite honestly, who can blame the people that, who would want to go out fishing with 95 and 100 degree uh, temperatures around the area? It's made fishing quite tough, to say the least. Guys that did go out, though, had some success, especially on a couple of the lakes up in the northeastern part of the state. Uh, those lakes include Bitter, Wabe, and Opitz, all produced a consistent walleye bite this past week. Other lakes that guys went out to that were a little bit less consistent included uh, Swan, Hazleton, uh, Pius, Indian Springs, as well as Lynn. Down here in the southeastern part of the state, uh, a more, less consistent bite is probably the, the main story. Uh, some of those lakes that guys went out and caught a few fish include uh, Sinai, Thompson, Ponson, uh, 81 Ponds, Dry Lake by Willow Lake, Twin Lakes uh, just north of Humboldt, which is the Trophy Lake, and then also East and West Oakwood. And again, like I said, it has been very less than consistent across Southeast South Dakota. The Missouri River, you guys have been catching some fish out there, but again, it has been affected by the weather. The best success, success has been pulling crate baits in uh, deeper water, so keep that in mind. If you're looking for something a little bit off the beaten path, a little maybe out of the normal as far as around here, if you want to go out and catch salmon, head out to pier. Uh, guys have had quite a bit of luck out there with the salmon fishing of late. Well, the heat definitely has also affected the uh, pan fish uh, this past week, uh, but guys have been coming away with some nice perch at uh, Ponset as well as Dry Lake by Willow Lake, and uh, also Big Stone, Thompson, uh, Bitter have been producing some perch, but not near the quality and the quantity that we've seen out of uh, Dry and also Ponset. Uh, the crappie continues to, to bite occasionally at uh, Sinai, Thompson, and Pickerel. And then if you're looking for bluegill, head down to uh, uh, enemy swim and then also at Pohoya in northwest Iowa. Now what have guys been using? A lot of live bait for any of the panfish and it seems like uh, slip bobbers along the weed edge has worked out well and guys are using uh, maggots, uh, wax worms, small pieces of crawler as well as minnows. So keep that in mind. As far as the jigs are concerned, any small ice fishing jig works really well. Also the VMC hot stir jig has been a, a great jig to use if you're casting for the crappies up at Thompson Pickerel uh, or even the, the perch up at Dry Lake. Now it's time to take a look at a few photos from this past week. And remember folks, if you'd like your photo included in next week's version of the 2 Minute Fishing Report, please send it to me, send it to Todd at DakotaAngler.com or post it to our Facebook wall and if I use your photo, your name will be entered into a monthly drawing for a $25 gift certificate. And as we end this week's version of the 2 Minute Fishing Report, I want to bring you up to date on some of the sales that we have going on here at the store. Make sure you stop on by and check out some of these great prices. All our remaining rods as well as combos are on sale. Select number of reels are on sale as well. Also, a permanent ice shack, our Firebrand ice shack is on sale too. So stop on by, take a look at that shack and ask for the great price. Well folks, that's this week's version of the 2 Minute Fishing Report. For Dakota Angler, I'm the owner Todd Heitkamp and as we say around here, Fish on. We'll see you next time, and again, thanks for watching.